Hello. In this video, I'm going to introduce the sine law. Now, what you see here is you see two non-right angle triangles. And I'm going to use those as examples to introduce this sine law. There's a couple of things that are important. First, the sine law will work with any triangle. <coughs> Excuse me. And although we primarily apply it to non-right angle triangles, the, it'll work with a right angle triangle. You could use it instead of Sokotoa and it would be fine. Uh, two, how you label the triangle is important. So here is the standard labeling of a triangle. I called the angle a capital letter A, capital letter B, capital letter C. Now, the side across from A here is lowercase a. The side across from C is lowercase c, and the side across from B is lowercase b. I think you can realize that the, the letters really aren't that important, but we usually label it that way to avoid confusion. Now the sine law says that the sine of angle A divided by A is equal to the sine of angle B divided by B, which is equal to the sine of angle C all over little c. Now, we'd only ever really use two of these at once. Like, we'd either use those depending on the information given or those depending on the information given. That's the standard labeling. But it, I want you to realize here that it, it doesn't matter what the letters are. I can call this triangle E, F, G where the side across from capital E is lowercase g. The side across from lowercase, from uppercase g is lowercase g. And the side across from uppercase F is lowercase f. We can write out the sine law in the same way. The sine of E over E is equal to the sine of F over F, which is equal to the sine of G over G. The letters that you use doesn't matter. It's just the ratio of the angle divided by its opposite side. And that is what is important. The ratio of the sine of the angle divided by the opposite side. The ratio of the sine of the angle divided by the opposite side. That's how you have to memorize that law. And in the next video, I'll do some examples where we actually use it in a, in a, with numbers.